Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's January 19th, 2021. Today, the National COVID Memorial was unveiled in Washington, D.C., and while I continue to prep the two upcoming limited series, Rip the Ship and Up in the Stadium Club, uh, as well as the Gaudi Rummage Reveal with the Verifier, uh, I felt compelled to drop this OT Retro episode on the great Jay Johnstone because I just learned that he passed away from COVID-19 on September 26th of last year at the young age of 74. Uh, the news hit me a little harder than I thought, perhaps because we just celebrated the Verifier's 74th birthday, and I feel 74 is still pretty young, a lot of life left after 74, but genetics do play a part, and apparently Jay had been suffering from dementia and was in a nursing home where he caught COVID. Uh, you know, more than 400,000 Americans have lost their lives to this pandemic. There hasn't been a greater American tragedy in a century the 1918 flu pandemic killed over 600,000 people, but that was spread out over three years. So it's not a hoax. It's not a scam. It's just truly heartbreaking. Um, I really, you know, feel for Jay's family. Uh, but let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate the beloved prankster and take a look at some of his cards and a few photos here. Uh, I wish I had a legit copy of his 1984 Fleer card, but I don't. This is the best I could do. Uh, the classic card of him in the Budweiser, quote, Brock Bella. Uh, apparently it was called the Brock Bella because Lou Brock was the spokesman. Uh, Lou also passed away last year, just a few days prior to Jay. Uh, Jay said the photo wasn't planned, but that Budweiser did send him a free case of Budweiser every summer. So sweet deal. Uh, we've got another picture of him in an umbrella hat with the Yankees, so apparently it was a running uh, thing for him. Uh, and here he is dressed up like Tommy Lasorda, something he apparently uh, enjoyed to do uh, at least a few times. There's a story of him uh, going out to the mound dressed like Lasorda, holding uh, Lasorda's biography and a can of Slim Fast to relieve a pitcher. Um, a true journeyman, he played for eight teams in his almost 20 years, won the World Series twice. Once in 78 with the Yankees, and again in 81 with the Dodgers. Uh, my introduction to Jay was through the blooper show, The Lighter Side of Sports. Uh, but he also appeared in The Naked Gun uh, as in playing for the Mariners. Oddly enough, a team he never played for, and they were playing uh, against the Angels in that movie. And here he is with the Angels. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but uh, just a guy I have you know, fond, fun-loving memories of. He did commercials. Uh, just a, a, a true character in the game. So let's take a, a quick look at a couple of his cards here. Uh, so we got the 1968. Look at the great condition on this baby. Sharp corners, really well centered. Obviously, very tough to do uh, in the late 60s cards. They were often off cut, uh, but this is just a, a gem. Really, really pleased with the look of it. Great color still. And of course, you know I love me some 1972 tops. Looking forward to Heritage coming out. Tops ought to do a little bit of a homage to some of these originals through a couple of maybe some like rediscover tops right with some of these originals but again great condition crazy white Sox colors that in that time the, the sky blue and the red just be again so just great condition outstanding well known for his pranks one he uh was very well known for was called hot footing which is basically lighting your teammates cleats on fire also like to nail his uh teammates cleats to the floor Gotta love a guy that just loves the game, loves his teammates, loves baseball, knows he's fortunate to be playing professional sports and just having a great time. They really help, you know, gel your team. Um, those are the kind of guys you want in the clubhouse with you. Uh, this is my only Jay Johnson card of uh, him with the Yankees, 1979 tops. A little dinged up, but uh, sweet to have him in the pinstripes. Obviously with the Dodgers. Gotta be interesting for a guy to win the World Series Twice, you so see, you win it once playing for the Yankees against the Dodgers, and then you win it again playing for the Dodgers against the Yankees. I don't know how many guys out there uh, in, in baseball have that kind of cachet. It's almost like in basketball, right? You got Rajon Rondo uh, wins it with the Celtics and then wins it with the Lakers. Rivals, and then you win one for both teams. Nice big cheesy grin there from Jay. Pretty cool. Another prank uh, when he was with the Dodgers was uh, he put a soggy brownie in Steve Garvey's glove. I got to imagine... Right, Garvey reaches in there and pulls his hand out, and it looks like poop. Another nice one. I think I pulled this one here, 82 tops. I definitely encourage the kiddos out there, if you're not that familiar with Jay Johnson, you'll probably find 
some uh, clips of like the lighter side of sports on YouTube. Maybe check it out. Just a just a fun character, man. You gotta love the characters in baseball. Uh, another classic prank was cutting the crotch out of Rick Sutcliffe's underwear. Now I don't know if that was his like game sports, you know, the like tight underwear or his jockstrap kind of thing, or if it was like his, you know, you finish the game, you go home and shower, and you go to put your underwear on, and you got no crotch. So it's like un- unintentional going commando. Also, a uh, great uh, legendary story of him locking Tommy Lasorda in uh, his office during spring training. And also, he and Jerry Royce were placing all of Tommy Lasorda's pictures in his office of him and celebrities, because Tommy loved to hobnob, um, with pictures of himself and Jerry Royce and I think a couple other buddies. Uh, just I guess he just loved to give Tommy Lasorda a hard time. Now, I'm pretty sure 85 was his last year. We got an 86 tops here. As you can see there near the end, not playing too many games. But a kind of guy, you know, like I said, that, you know, not only just the fun-loving part, uh, but, you know, career 267 hitter, uh, had over 100 homers, right? Guy you want coming off the bench, fun in the clubhouse, helps your team stay loose, helps them win. That's that's the kind of guys you want you you want them on your team you need them on your team, so there you go just a quick OT retro of the late great Jay Johnstone. Uh, we'll certainly miss a character like him, uh, but like I said, I encourage the young folks out there to maybe you know use YouTube and go uh, look him up a little bit. Uh, so leave a comment, let me know what you thought of today's episode. I look forward to reading those. Slam that like button, make sure you're subscribed, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.